Hey Black Stars. So I want to ask you a question. Are you a tailor or are you a butcher? Let me explain. In the world of martial arts, you know, I, I'm simplifying things a lot, but in the world of martial arts, you're going to find that there are those who play the game and there are those who win the fight. Now, you have to understand the arena matters on this. If you're talking professional violence, you go to the win the fight side of it. If you're talking sport and entertainment, you're talking play the game side of it. And there are reasons for both on both sides. Um, but I want you to understand the difference between them. And I'm using an analogy here, Taylor versus Butcher. Now, think of the sewer's needle. It goes in and out, in and out, all around. It makes different patterns. There are different stitches. It's complex. It's fine. It is incredibly precise. It is beautiful. It's artistic and yet calculated and logical. This is the arena of the sportsman. It is beautiful, it's fantastic, and it belongs in a place where there is little chaos. Now, on the other side, you have the butcher. The butcher takes an animal, kills it, skins it, and starts quartering it. And from quartering it, it starts chunking it into clods. It's not as precise, it's, it's still defined work. It's not just sloppy hack and slash. Notice that I'm not just saying, you know, barbarian hack and slash. There's a reason we don't go that far, because even in the world of professional violence where things are sloppy and there's not a whole lot of room for fancy technique, you still have to know what you're doing well enough to get it done. And this is where it enters into this idea of the butcher. You're making large cuts, you are making well-defined but broad strokes. You are, you know, you're not doing the precise work. You know, I was a meat cutter for six years, not a butcher, a meat cutter. The meat cutter takes the clods that the butcher takes and refines them into the steaks to be cooked and plated. The butcher is the one that markets to the meat cutter. The meat cutter is the one that markets to the public. Um, used to be one and the same, but you know how we just hyper-divide everything now. Anyway, the point is that while the butcher knows what he's doing and does it well, it's still a larger, less refined, less artistic job than the other because it's not the presentation side of things. It's not the side that we look at and say, this is, you know, this is what we want people to think of when we think of this thing. Now, should they? Yes, they should. You know, to further the analogy, back when we were hunter-gatherers and back when people were killing their own meat as much as buying it, if not more, it was in the home. You know, buying these nice steaks and everything wasn't something that was as commonplace back in those days. Yeah, you might cut out a T-bone, but you weren't so concerned about that as just getting a hunk so you can have some stew. Um, but you have to understand that when you just need to get things done, you don't have the time to be the artistic, precise, calculating tailor. You have to go work your way over to the butcher side of things and just start hacking off chunks because that's what's going to get results. It's not pretty, it's not presentable, and quite honestly, violence professionals are kind of the veil between civilized society and, you know, the gross exceptions of the world. And you have to understand that whether or not you agree with their actions, without that veil, you have to deal with that stuff. So if you don't like violence, be thankful that they exist. But understand that your tailor shit that you've been studying in your dojo isn't always going to work where the butcher is needed.
And the butcher's tactics are not going to be crowd pleasing. They're not going to garner favor. Things are going to be over too quickly. The rules are a little bit shadier. <laughs> There's a big difference between the two and you need to understand that. Talk to you later. Good journey.